Hello everyone, Kremlin Archer here, and welcome to Paradigm. Paradigm is a adventure game that's coming out pretty much, eh, pretty much right when this video is being posted. Um, it has a very bonkers visual aesthetic. I assume the storyline is equally bonkers, uh, but I haven't really dug into it yet, so we're gonna find out together. Uh, it it seems neat. I've been actually following it on Twitter, the the creator on Twitter for a while now, and so I'm excited to finally get it to dig into this. Um, I'm, I'm hoping it's fun, but let's uh, let's go ahead and just just head in here. Oh, we got difficulty settings. Oh gosh, how did I open this? I just want to play solitaire. I have no idea what an ge adventure game even is. I'm in for the experienced adventure game. So this is like ridiculously easy, sort of easy, and then normal. These are they're clever titles, but I don't actually know which one I'm supposed to do here. We'll do the middle one. Oh wait, hang on. It tells me. Aha! Enables hotspots, toggle system, and cutie tumor chats, hint symbol. You've played games before, but you haven't really delved into adventure games, or very little experience with it. You'd like to try it out, though it's alright friend, I got you. And this one is, removes the hotspot toggles. You played a few point and click adventure games in your time, three-headed monkeys and Punny deaths are somewhat something you hold dear. Besides, who needs stupid words helping you to do stuff? Hint systems are for plebes. Um, I guess we'll do this one. I've played adventure games before. I'm sure this won't turn out any poorly at all. Experienced adventure game settings does not include tumor sense, cutie chats, sense of accomplishment. There's only pain and suffering. Well, not really. The game is the same except for those two features. You can activate either feature in the options anytime. So we'll do this. We'll start with it off. If we have to turn it on, that's fine. We can turn it on later. This is an archived infomercial. It is not to be used for anything. Ah, I missed it. Oh well. Is your child a failure? <laughs> Have they wasted years of their life acquiring an arts degree? Do you Guilty. make it rain on a regular basis? Only to spend it on your child's expensive taste in bullshit coffee? Is your child just an asshole? These are questions we ask every day. Here at Dupa Genetics, we have the solution. Prodigy Child, the fully customizable child of your dreams. The process is very simple. We gather your broken dreams, we combine it with our cutting edge genetic sequencing technology, and finally, our secret sauce. <laughs> and then, your Prodigy Child is born. Don't leave your child's success to chance. They can be a Prodigy Child in anything, such as scientist, bodybuilder, wizard, and cat. You know what to do. Do you really want to risk the embarrassment? Buy a prodigy child today. You won't regret it. Time to put on some beatsies. Ugh, I am so bored. <laughs> I should probably make progress on my EP and make some beats on the computer. And not procrastinate, which would inevitably lead me to reevaluating my life decisions and weeping silently. <gasps> That's great. I've completely forgotten how to exist. <laughs> Paradigm, have you forgotten how to function as a mutant human being again? Would you like a tutorial? Sure, why not? Yes. I feel like this is something I shouldn't forget. Thank God you exist. I could never afford the real doctor. Would you like a regular tutorial? Would you like a regular tutorial or a live action dog tutorial? Live action dog tutorial? Definitely dog tutorial. Oh, hello. How to play Paradigm with Sam. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, I didn't think it was serious.
Oh, apparently that that's all Hello. we got. Hello, I'm your talking tumor. I'll be your guide. Right click objects to interact. Interact. Left click to use interaction. Touch the top right corner to activate your tumor sense. Okay. I have to do that. Okay. Generally, I like being touched. Ooh. Alright, touch the top screen to slide menus. Alright. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be working. Just like the fashion combo of socks, sandals, and fanny bags. Unless you're a 40 year old man whose jokes only consist of puns. I should talk to John. He will probably know how to fix it. John, eh? Alright, oh, this is John? Sorry, I gotta look at other stuff first. One part of my record collection. I think he hustled me. Before I knew it, I was rubbing his belly and playing catch. Oh, oh, hello. I was not expecting that. Get rich or die of natural causes. Sean Sensual Steen, a guide to compassion companionship for the futuristic lover. Babe, I believe in you, but I'm a T-Rex. Pluto, if only I was still a planet. If you were a square, I'd love all four sides of you. Alright, let's grab this one if we can. Can we? Oh, apparently not. Okay. Or do I have to right click maybe? Pick up. The record is missing. Damn it, you hustling dog. How can I say mad at you? You're so cute and fluffy. <laughs> okay. Well, that might be something later. But I'm going to come back to that. Adapter. Ser Adapter. That looks like something I should pick up. This could be useful. I'll put it into my inventory. Inventory. If huh? only people could adapt like this adapter, robot human marriage wouldn't be such a big issue. Oh jeez, I've forgotten how to use my pockets again. You can, you can access your inventory in three ways. Press I, slide the bottom. All right. Use items. Tap left, click, and drop them on objects. Okay. Items can also be combined. Inventory by dropping them on top of each other. Got it. Cereal. Can I have this? Ugh. No. Tutorial button. Real computer. Alright, let's go let's go check out uh, John. John three thousand here. I'm I'm not going to push his buttons again. Not after Can I talk to him? Doesn't look like he used I need to turn him on some Alright, I bet we need the adapter right there boom look at us solving puzzles oh mate what do you unplug me for you know why <laughs> yeah all right we'll talk to him now god that guy's disturbing looking why isn't the computer booting i want to make some fat ass beatsies hey dude do your HAL 9000 impression. Open pod day doors, HAL. I really like what you did with your face. What's different? Do you ever miss the days when you were a matchmaking robot? After returns of videotapes. Let's just go straight straight to the point. Why isn't the computer booting? I want to make some fat ass beatsies. Mate, with some of the filth I've seen in your internet history, I'm not surprised. It makes me contemplate if I want to be a part of this world. Then I'll think about all the shooters that would be gutted. And then I'll change my mind. Okay. That didn't really answer the question. Wouldn't it be unfortunate if you tripped and unplugged again? Real talk, why isn't it working? I'm gonna threaten him. Wouldn't it be unfortunate if I just tripped and unplugged you again? Don't worry, mate. I'm not judging you. It's a little bit messed up, but uh. Title known it's didn't do so many. normal for sick blokes such as yourself, anyway. Real talk, why Real isn't talk. it working? Mate, the operating system is bugged. Some uh, bloody hacker bloke mess with your system files. You're gonna need a warp it and reinstall it using the recovery floppy disk. Okay. Where can Where I find can the I floppy find disk? Right. I'll search with my little Google here and check it out. That's weird. It only tells me where to find sexy and one little weird secret to get ripped. I always wondered what I'd look like with a sick. All right. Just tell me Just where tell to get it. All right, mate. All right. I'll tell ya. But first, I need your help. I've got at least 10 chat rooms and two internet dating sites to frequent tonight, and I need you to get me in the zone. How am I supposed to do that? I'm a little bit hurt you don't remember anymore. Ever since I had to roll back to version 2.1, it 
You can't even look in my eyes, Jorn. We've already discussed this. You don't even have eyes. Seriously, what do you want? Use your imagination, mate. I need to maximize my sex appeal potential. One ton of copper wiring doesn't exactly swoon potential partners, except for sweaty salvage men. And I'll tell you what, mate, I don't want any news from sweaty salvage men tonight unless they look like sexy, sweaty ladies. Figure something out. Gross. Ugh. Such an irritating minor inconvenience. I just want to finish my new OP. By the way, if you don't fix the computer soon, the power plant will melt down and everyone will be dead. Or become seriously maimed, living their life in constant agony. Cheers, mate. There must be something in this room I can give him. Alright, what do we want to give him? Real computer, bed. What is this? It's a topogonizer. Sort of like a compulsory to all citizens. Topogonizer, if you tell anyone who my high school crush was, I'll forget to take you. Alright. Oh, hello. Dear Diary, I'm not sure if you know any of this, but goddamn, I love sleeping so much. If sleep were a person, I would orchestrate an elaborate public proposal in front of millions of people, only for sleep to reject me on the spot. The online video would have millions of views, thus I'd make bank on ad money, profiting off my pure sadness and rejection. Anyway, that's the analogy I was waking up, I think. Oh, I can actually press the buttons. Oh, it's a Dvark computer. Oh, gross. Alright. Escape. How do I go away? There we go. Do I take this? Let's pick it up. I prefer to leave my full no? of personal. Shrine, huh? What is this? Thank you for dying for our musical scenes, DJ Jesus. Okay, that's weird. Um, what else? What else? What else? Alright, let's look at this record collection again. See if we can pick up one of these records. I think I see like a slot, a large slot here. The record is damn it, you. Okay, so not that one. Let's see if any of these we can pick up. This could get John in the mood. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna try them all this first. This could get John in the mood. The record is damn it, you. Yes. Pick up. The record is damn it. Alright. So if I put this one in John. My, you know your tunes paradigm. Gonna slay so many circuits tonight. Anyway, you can find the floppy disk from a fellow named Space Cadet. That local drug addict guy. Ask Doug outside for some directory dues if you can't remember. Directions? That's what I said. Well, time to go save the world, I guess. By the tone of your voice, you clearly don't understand the gravity of the situation. I understand we need the floppy to swap bodies and have wacky adventures experiencing life from other perspectives. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I know what I did. Hey, do you think it would be about communicating by touching butts together? Right, yes, yeah, do this one. I am. Yeah, nah. I figured you wouldn't understand, so I prepared this pipe and mash earth for your benefit earlier. Wow, you've really improved on your paper mache craft skills. Great work, John. Cheers, mate. I really appreciate your support of my hobby over the years. Anyway, you say, Cobza, all the world's radioactive waste is stored under the crush. There is enough radioactive waste under this station for complete annihilation. As you probably know, crush is world number one in the Brabant economy. Now, pay attention to that red dot. That's us. Whoops. Neat. Neat. That's the basic gist of the CISO if you don't get that floppy. Except for more than you can fall out, mutations, people died in agony, pine, suffering, and lots of brutal. I oh, so my humans have like, uh, two years. Oh, right. I should probably stop. Piper Mache seems to always reject you, Paradon. You should start selling these online. They're <laughs> really great. Yeah, nah, 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 yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. One day. But yeah, go see Doug outside for some director dues to Space Cadet's place. Okay, let's go see Doug. I managed to salvage it. He has a memory of six kilobytes. Wait. Red room. Let's check out the red room. I used to let the hobo crash in there. I didn't check on him for a while. I soon found out he likes smearing things on walls. I don't go in there anymore. Okay. Alright, we'll leave then. 
if you're going to be... Warning. Uh-oh. Imminent complete meltdown is imminent. <laughs> Meanwhile, convenient plot development. You requested me, sir. Yes. I want... I want you to bring <laughs> me Paradigm. After all this time, you want to bring it back? Yes. We need... We need... <coughs> Have you all returned? <coughs> I'm just going to, um... I'm just going to let my face out. That was weird. Sometimes I hate you, father. Your insatiable urge for candy turned me into this monstrosity. But don't worry. Your legacy will live on. Hmm. Terminal. External deactivated. John 3000 terminal. Boiler dials. These are clearly just toy dials. Let's talk to Doug here. Howdy, Doug. Hey, Prosofinos. What's up, Brolicious? <laughs> How do you stay alive? Do you mind dropping some fat beasties? Do you know much about Space Cadet? How does it feel to be a vegetable for the rest of your life? How's the hustle going? Rinse too soon. I've always wanted to try sentient eggplants. How's the hustle going? Rinse too soon, and I've always wanted to try sentient eggplant. Come on, man. Give us a break. There are literally only five people living here. All of them crazy. Except for you, of course. Okay, right, gonna drop me some fat Do you mind dropping some beatsies? fat bitsies? Okay. Yeah, I guess that's okay. I'm not sure I'd go so far as to call it fat. Alright, now it's approaching fat. Alright, I shouldn't have sucked at this. It's taking longer than I thought it was going to. <laughs> Dope. Thanks, dude. There we go. Alright. Uh, Space Do Cadet. Do you know much about the Space Cadet? Who? Hmm? All I know is that he is the local drug addict. Godolf Wakeney, 47 years old, uncomfortably apparent fetish for boxes. I guess that's him. Mm, I don't know much about him, really. Except he keeps asking for drugs in exchange for his boxes. Also, also blowjobs. Lots of blowjobs. Ah, uh, yes. Excuse me while I drown myself in a pool of bleach. <laughs> Did you consider Did the blowjobs? Consider the blowjobs? If I wasn't a drogonist, I would probably consider it. It gets awfully lonely out here. Alright, uh, where can I, I find need him? To know where well, if you find me a map or something, I'll hook you up with the bits. Alright, uh, alright, later. Laters. Ah, nice. Tentacle graffiti. Day of the Tentacle. Oh, damn it, Lucas. Stop spraying your intellectual property <laughs> on my property. A LucasArts adventure game that was amazing. Radioactive sludge. The gift that keeps on giving. Terrible lifelong illnesses. Alright, we take some? As a manufacturer of... However, it is not the time right now to make that... Alright, um, where are we going? What are we doing? Beat sign. To pay rent, uh, Doug sells his beatbox beats. Pretty good. Too bad there's like five people living here in Krush. And all of them are on government support. Mailbox. Anything in the mailbox? That's my mailbox. Almost always filled with online shopping regret. Hey look, I have new mail. Nice. I... uh, what? Another mailbox? I guess I'll put it in my inventory. Is a smaller mailbox inside his mailbox? Interesting. Hey, there is something else in the second <laughs> mailbox. Oh, a third mailbox? I've had enough of your games, Babushkin mailbox. If there is another mailbox in here, <laughs> I'm going to uninstall the game. Hey, there is a postcard in here with a bottle of vodka. Nice, vodka. Pashevsky's vodka. 
the only vodka to guarantee 60% of your daily nutritional needs and a 50% chance of unemployment. Plus, the postcard map says to press the letter M or use the slide up menu to use the map. Hmm. Weird. Good to know. I don't think it would be sentimental yeah, value of us. Yes. Yeah, I don't. I don't actually want to do that. There we go. So press the letter M. We're here, and then these are places we haven't been yet, I guess. Alright, so which ways can we go? Anywhere? Oh no, we can talk to him again. Uh, we probably need this thing for my inventory. Wait. Hang on. Hang on. Inventory. This thing. Close inventory. Show to Doug. I have this uh, Krush postcard. Will this work? Yes, I think that will work. You can find him in the bottom right in uh, Krush Forest. Also, one last thing. Don't be surprised if he's not wearing pants. Eh, who needs pants? Right there. Okay. So how do I actually leave here? Like this? Yo, oh, he's wearing pants. Warning sign. The sign says, Please be aware of occasional satanic rituals in the forest. And more importantly, always remember to recycle. Open bracket. Satanic rituals aren't actually satanic. They are just info sessions run by a guy named Satan. Close bracket. Hmm. Metal mushies. Those are metal mushies. Unlike their hallucinogenic brethren, they simply make you headbang and mush for days without getting fatigued. The only side effect is bad. really swall traps. Swall. Button. Oh look, another... It's another tentacle. Alright, um... Press for super spooky crash play. Use. Skelly! <laughs> yes. Very spooky. Ah, you old crash plane in the forest trope. Wait, there's a sticker here. It says, Nicky Neck's replica crashed aeroplane. Their motto reads, If you have a lot of money, you might as well spend it. Glitching tree, huh? Oh my, it's a glitching tree. In Krush, it's considered good luck. Nothing like contemplating if your life is a computer simulation. Look at the forest. Some strange stuff happened, like the conversion of sunlight to create energy. Photosynthesis is some crazy messed up stuff, man. <laughs> Alright, so we got a little... Got a, another organizer. We've got some model rockets. We got this dude. Alright, let's, let's talk to this dude. Hello? I'm pretty good, thanks, and you? Wow, that is nice to know. Tell the wife you're welcome at mine anytime. Uh, what a wonderful comatose man. <laughs> I need to divert his attention somehow. Oh, he's watching a broken TV too. Strange pod-like spaceship. Right. Can I pick this up? I can't carry... Can't carry around nostalgia. It seems nice. to be some sort of a rare artifact. Possibly from the copyrightous infringements era. Legends say that the archaeologists who found the artifacts received the curse of cease and desist. <laughs> that was weird. No way. I'm afraid to touch for... It's a toy rocket which has three settings. Atmosphere, space, and... pleasure? <laughs> <laughs> Can I take it? I hope it... Oh. Like stealing candy from a comatose man who happens to run a candy shop. Nice. Can I take the smaller one? Oh, the smaller one doesn't even register. Alright, let's look at this thing. It's a the poker now. Compulsory to all city. Cornelius F. Occupation local drug addict. You know, just because I'm the local drug addict, people think that I'm crazy. They walk past and just consider me trash. They don't wait and consider that I'm a human being. 
just because occasionally I'm naked lathered in honey shouting my favorite 80s pop lyrics. Anyway, so far Vagrant Art performance is going well. You can never go too far with the art, including taking the hardcore drugs. And they said my art degree was useless. I'm going to be a social justice messiah after this. Alright. Um, escape. Cool. Uh, I think I'm going to stop here for today. And uh, we'll pick this up uh, next time. I, I, it's it's interesting. I, I'm I'm not completely sold on this game yet, but I'm definitely interested enough to continue to move forward. So if you want to, if you enjoyed this, consider leaving me a like. It helps out a great deal. And uh, consider subscribing if you want to see more Paradigm in the future. And I will see you later.